Okay, I just want to help you be able to find everything on your network. Um, I've got some Wi-Fi pieces of equipment that I don't really want to put a keyboard and mouse and monitor to just to find out what their IP addresses are because when I move it, it may change unless I lock them. Um, but this will allow me to not even bother locking their IPs because I can just put them on the network and find them anyway. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go over to nmap.org Go to their download page and you'll end up with where we were. Hang on. And just download which version you want because it works with everything. It works for Linux, it works for Windows, it works for Mac. Um, and once you've got it, you can install it. On the Windows, it comes up with this bigger uh, window and stuff here. Um, I generally don't need it. What I do is do CMD to open the command line. And what we want to do is enter nmap minus sn one nine two one six eight one dot oop, one one dot zero up to twenty four, and it'll go away for a think. It won't make it any wider. No. And as you can see, we've now got a list of everything that's on my network. TP-Link is my router. Western Digital is my, um, what do you call it? It's a personal cloud. Hong Hai Precision Industries. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to have to look for that. Uh, Samsung is obviously Samsung phones. Uh, I've got another Hong Hai. I wonder if they're actually Samsungs. They could actually be Samsung because I've there's actually four Samsungs in the house. And the Shenzhen or Gamary technology is my uh, Raspberry Pi. That must be the name it's been given. As you can see, it's quite quick and easy to search. Um, there is other software out there, and if you're on Linux, there is other software that does exactly the same, or you can use the same thing. Uh, but that's the quickest way of finding the Raspberry Pi or whatever you're using. For example, if you've got um, IP cameras, this is an easy way of finding them. You know, because sometimes they use DIP settings and stuff, um, so you can manually configure their IPs and things. But they it may not be obvious what they've been set to. Well, this this way you can actually find them. All right, thanks for watching.